Hey, what's up guys? Swoops here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a update for Seven Seas TCG. This is going to be update number two. So yeah, I got some fancy stuff to show you guys today. Um, this is kind of uh, feels like a 1.5 to me because I haven't really completed anything astronomical. I mean, I have new cards and stuff, but no major breakthroughs yet. Um, like the game board in the last video, so we'll get there. We'll get there. But um, this is this is number two, and um, yeah, we may as well just get right into it. And uh, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna shout out Tomai, Tomai, Tommy, Tomai. I don't know. Um, you can search all of the above, and then I, I'm gonna say Tomai because that's how it's spelled. T O M I. Um, he uh, shouted me out in uh, his video because I gave him a idea for a card so go check him out he has more subs than me so um this is kind of pointless but we'll, we'll do it anyway because we're good people yeah all right so let's get into these cards so up first we're, we have the crew members for this update and i have three so up first we got uh, crazy jones and uh <laughs> This is a good card to start off with. I do like this a lot. Um, and I kind of hope that this can be the thumbnail. We'll see We'll see if we can make it happen. So it's Crazy Jones. He's a crew member. He is a level 3, so he costs 4, four doubloons. And his ability slash attack is scream before you shoot. And it does 20 damage. And it reads, flip a coin. When you use this attack, if heads, this attack does 20. Attack does 30 damage instead of 20. Getting a little ahead of myself. And it is a range crew member, and it does 70 damage. So, <laughs> I just I just love the face on this card. It's just oh, so beautiful. And, um, yeah, he's a, a new crew member. So, uh, new uh, level 3 to go in your deck. And we'll put him back there. Next up, we got First Mate Frank. Because we have to make all the fancy... Um, fancy names that rhyme and sound good because that's that's what we do here every if it's not corny it's not good guys remember that that's the rules and he is a level two so three doubloons he's a melee crew member 50 hp and his ability is maintenance flip a coin, coin once per turn if heads the ship this card is equipped to can move one extra knot this turn and his attack is hilt smash for 20 damage so um i'm kind of learning about things as i'm going um, I don't know what a first mate does, so that would have been smart to figure out before I made this card. But uh, we can learn things together once I figure things out. So uh, make it a pirate game, and remember guys, the rule is, do it, then realize what you did wrong. And uh, so you, you research after you do uh, your report. Uh, yeah, do that in school, you'll get a really good grade. Okay, then finally we got Mitch the Witch. Um, <laughs> uh. Three doubloons, so that means he's a level two. 50 HP. In his attack, it's Spectral Explosion. 20 damage. This attack does 30 damage next turn. So just a, a build-up attack. And uh, he can kill himself in two turns. Wow. And uh, he's just on this weird boat that kind of looked weird. And uh, I think it does look weird. Um, but I tried, and that's all that matters. Okay. So uh, those are your three crew members. We'll spread them out here. For this episode and i'm not gonna do three every episode that just kind of happened that way i like to do one one uh crew member and then one um one action card yeah okay i know my own game and i think now that i'm thinking of it i think i already showed one of them and uh we're gonna get that one right out of the way right now because i think i already showed one and it smells aboard to one of your ships 50 hp for two doubloons i'm pretty sure i already showed you this so we and um i if i didn't well then whoops because i just did that really fast but uh that was a speed speed reveal with soaps next up we got looking glass and it features first mate frank in this art two doubloons and it that kind of looks weird but whatever, we'll go with it. Looks fancy. Look at the top card of your opponent's action and crew member decks. 
It's always just a little thing to get the upper hand, see what your opponent might be doing with those next two cards, and then you can kind of prepare for it. So if they're drawing A nails at boards, you know that they're probably going to heal themselves. So you can try and uh, take out that chip that's low this turn instead of waiting till next turn when your opponent heals it. So some strategy for that. And then finally, we have Treasure Map, which costs zero doubloons. What, Soaps? How does it cost zero? That's not allowed. Um, because this is a card that's supposed to give you doubloons, um, apparently that's how you spell doubloons. Um, it looks weird. Uh, again, I had to look that up after I named it. After I named the currency doubloons, I had to realize how to spell it. So just um, my tactic going into uh, effectiveness here. Um, so uh, duo balloons. That's that's what it's gonna. We're gonna call it that now. No, just kidding. Uh, it's doubloons. That's how you spell it. Um, yeah, because of my ten out of ten spelling spelling skills, um, I didn't know how to spell that. Okay, so so how can this be a zero? Well, because you're supposed to be gaining doubloons with this card. What would be the point of spending your doubloons and then gaining your doubloons? And it, they would just cancel out, and it'd be absolutely pointless. So. Um, we're not going to do that. So two of your ships cannot attack this turn and gain two doubloons. So they're off on the treasure map going to find some palm trees and some X's. And uh, then you'll gain some money. So if you want some more money to save up for more fours, they'll help you win um, the battles. Also, apparently a broadside battle is, ship is a ship battle. And boarding a ship would be like the crew member battle. And I was calling broadside battle. There's too many terms in this game. <laughs> There's not enough stuff that I can just make up and go with it. So I don't know what the terminology for uh, broadside battle is going to mean yet. But um, that's why I just said not attack. That kind of saved me some skin. I didn't plan for that. I don't really do a lot of planning, as you can tell. But um, good thing that I said attack because... Uh, that's what it is, and it, it's not a good thing I didn't write, like, Broadside Battle or anything. Okay, so that was all your crew members and your your action cards. Now we're talking about the ship that I made, so I didn't go crazy and make a bajillion ships because um, I wanted to focus on crew members because, um, yeah, we'll get into decks in a second. So I made this beautiful card. And it's kind of like a sunset or a sunrise, however you want to look at it. I think it's a sunset. It looks a lot better in person, like usual, because my camera kind of sucks. But um, I think it came out pretty nice, even on camera. So it is the SS Marie. Also something that I looked up after I wrote it. If you're wondering what SS means, it means either a steamship, which this is not, or a United States ship, which um, apparently this is. So... Um, I know this is pirates, but apparently the um, Donald Trump snuck in here somehow. So uh, this is a United States ship, apparently. Um, <laughs> but I th I thought it sounded cool. So this is the SS Marie. So um, yeah, there you go. Just get a nice, cool look up at this. Um, I guess this could be the thumbnail either. We'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Okay, so, um, and that's a galleon. I want to get this video out because it's kind of, like, the days are creeping on and I want to get this out because, um, keeping you guys busy. That's my job. I'm a babysitter. Uh, just kidding. Um, <laughs> and, but it's going to be a galleon. So, I don't know if it, this is another galleon, so, like, a comparison. I don't know. Eh, I think it's looks a little bit too small to be a galleon but the art is good enough that it should be a galleon so it's gonna be a galleon and uh what i was saying is that i didn't finish the stat card for this so we'll get back to that in the next update that's why it's in an update because things might not be finished so um just look at that uh five dollar stormtrooper in the back um so yeah ss marie we'll finish that in the next episode so next up we have um, starter deck boxes that I made, um, or just anything box that I made. Uh, this is just the template, just blank, that I made for the game. And then I, um, took it up a notch, and I scribbled a example, um, uh, of what it would possibly look like, um, if... 
this was <laughs> the starter deck. And uh, I plan on doing this, but again, I don't. I didn't have the energy or the time to complete this before getting this video out. So I just this is this is what it's gonna look like. Um, use your imagination. And uh, yeah, there's I made this slap thing. So um, when I'm uh, totally in like retail, because you know that's totally gonna happen with this game, you can put it on the peg cut it out right there and put it on the peg on the wall and then you just got that satisfying ASMR box sounds oh yeah uh well I just referenced ASMR in a video that uh, felt interesting okay um so yeah there's a flap and then you press the flap back in and now it's a little hanger thingy that has the title on it so yeah that's the box and you command your fleet uh to gain control of the seven seas yeah it's a corny thing on the back that I don't know if I'm actually going to keep. There's a whale. And uh, I'm going to edit this later because I actually can't shove a whole game board into this. I tried. It didn't work. So um, I don't know what I'm gonna, how I'm going to get the game board to people. I might need to make a box for that, like an actual box. But yeah. So, okay, deck size. I'm running out of time. So I'm thinking we do 15 card uh, crew member deck and then 15 card action deck. And I think that'll give you, so that'll give you 30 turns before you run out of all your cards, which I think is enough to, to beat the game. Um, yeah. So And then you would have your three ships and your three stack cards. So that means it's a 36 card deck. So I wrote 36 right here. And, um, and then one coin. I tried to make a coin for this video to give an example, but then I realized that I really can't cut a circle. And then, um, so I'll look for an alternative to cutting perfect circles because as of now I can't uh, use scissors to cut a perfect circle. So I might find like one of those hole puncher things that are bigger, um, like those little tiny ones. I don't know. Um, but I want to make coins. That's, that's something that's going to be in the future. So uh, yeah, that was update. Did I say update number two at the beginning? Because this is update number three. Oh no. Okay, well, we're 12 minutes in and I, uh, okay. Well, I'm not restarting this because I need to go to bed. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Um, so, yeah. Keep sailing, guys. Oh, no, that's that's too corny. Yeah. R, keep sailing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm.